management is uh, mainly i think the outcomes will be better if they managed in a comprehensive stroke unit and which includes uh, acute stroke unit and also the rehabilitation uh, support uh, uh, having for the for the uh, in the hospital itself so that is where the stroke outcomes are better again and it has been proven it's not only a personal experience it has been proven it has been published in journals that people with who suffer from stroke and have been managed by a dedicated comprehensive stroke unit and a dedicated stroke rehabilitation unit have much better outcomes compared to uh, being treated outside a hospital setting or a smaller nursing homes now that yes if it is a tia or a very mild stroke yes it can be managed anywhere uh, uh, in in a smaller setting and of course it can also be managed sometimes rarely after the initial process in a uh, in a outpatient clinic but by and large the outcomes of stroke are better uh, the disability recovery rate is faster if the patient is managed in a comprehensive rehabilitation unit now now in terms of many people have that fear that whether if you go to a dedicated unit uh, 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 it that does it cost more and i know i do I have to spend more and how long we need to stay i mean will i be able to manage that now that also worry can be removed because very clearly the I, the faster you recover the faster you go back to your work so if you look at the overall money spent uh, when when the patient comes to a comprehensive rehabilitation unit and then uh, I, of course initially in the uh, comprehensive stroke center versus uh, a different a different type of facility the overall cost the the patient has to bear at the end of 3 months is much better with the comprehensive rehabilitation unit because uh, the the factor that uh, the patient uh, becomes self dependent uh, uh, much more earlier and can go back to work and please remember the pa- patients who suffer from stroke it's not only physical rehabilitation what is also important is the mental rehabilitation it many it's very un- not uncommon that about 30 to 40% we can't imagine almost one out of two of every patient who suffers from stroke suffers from psychological problem the commonest one is depression obviously you are, you are away from work you are you are you, are, you, lose, you, uh, you cannot support yourself your family is draining money for you and you feel that you are dependent on your family members because you, you can't do your, your activities on your your by yourselves even the sometimes the day activities of daily living so obviously you become depressed and sometimes the depression can lead to react to anxiety and a fang psychosis called can also be seen so apart from physical rehabilitation unless until you have a good clinical uh, psychologist help and have psychological training sessions it's difficult to come out of this uh, um, mental fatigue and uh, this mental issues along with the physical disability so unless until both are addressed together and if they are addressed well then then i think the patient can can have resilience and the mental strength to come out of it uh, as early as possible and that certainly helps in terms of uh, uh, going back to work